616 now. Well, if you're looking for a good time this weekend, maybe you like a little beer, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, the fourth annual Spokane Brewers Festival is back tomorrow. And with that, joining us in the Creme 2 Kitchen is Festival Director Matt Gibson. Matt, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. This is the fourth year you guys fourth are year. doing this? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Who knew? I guess um, in a nutshell, just kind of tell us what's going to be going on tomorrow. So we came up with this festival as an idea to showcase what Spokane had to offer in terms of craft beer. You know, the west side of the state gets a lot of attention, but we have a lot going on in, in Spokane. In fact, we couldn't fit as many brewers as we would have liked onto the floor. So we've got 34 breweries and cideries coming down. Most of them are from the metro Spokane area or the Spokane region and we're we're just going to have all sorts of beer from porters to st and stouts to IPAs and and lagers and we're just going to have a good time of it. A little bit of something for everyone. Absolutely. So what happens is you buy your ticket. It's $25 today. It'll be $30 tomorrow. You'll get a glass this glass right here, mm -hmm. you get seven of these tokens, good for four ounces of beer. So this will fill up this seven, you know, you'll have seven times to fill mm -hmm. this up. Mm -hmm. And you get to taste all sorts of what Spokane beers have. And then on your way out, you can trade this in and you get our souvenir pint glass on your way out the door. It's a little bit of something for everyone, taste some different styles. I mean, I'm biased talking about this because I'm a craft beer guy. Um, People are hungry, having some stuff yep. they can do there too. Yeah, we've got food trucks, we've got one night stand barbecue and tacos tumbras and farmer's daughter. Uh, we've got some other options. We've got live music all day, all day from 12 to 7. Nice. Um, it's just going to be a fantastic time inside the arena, you know. We tried it, you know, in August it was hot and smoky, in May it's kind of cold and rainy, so we're good. We're glad we're going to be inside. So the vibe is very mellow and very cool. Um, we just want everyone to come out and see what Spokane beer has to offer. I mean, we're talking about rain and that sort of thing and these storms, you know, so it's like <laughs> being inside. It sounds great. <laughs> not bad. Yeah, not bad. Very climate controlled. Yeah, yeah. you guys have yeah. learned from Mother Nature yeah. of having this at different times of the year that indoors seems yeah. to probably work a little bit better. Any breweries yeah. that we need to be watching out for? Or what are the big names oh, that man. we need to be taste testing this year? We've got No Lie. We've got River City. We've got uh, Millwood. We've got V Twin. We've got TT's Old Iron Brewery. We've got BA Backyard Brewery. We got all the favorites. All the tap rooms in town are going to be there. And the really cool thing is that this is all benefiting the Wishing Star Foundation. Mm -hmm. So we're helping to raise money for sick kids as well. So we'll be doing raffles and uh, other sort of things while you're there. But uh, the important thing is just, we just want to have a great time right before the Lilac Parade. And we're capping off Spokane Craft Beer Week. Uh, so we're, this is kind of it for, for Craft Beer Nuts. So come on out and have some beer. And I know my experience from these beer festivals, kind of a good opportunity to try some staples, you know, things I right. like. But from what I understand with some of these things, is I know breweries can sometimes try specialty, unique mm -hmm. beers or something you can only get there from them, you know? There are some weird stuff coming in, like pineapple, whatever, and <laughs> tangerine <laughs> stuff. And there's also some hard seltzer that's going to be there. Oh, so yeah. No, oh, that's the new thing. I yeah. know. No At least the ladies, we've been drinking the spiked water lately. Yeah, because you're right. hydrating. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But that's a new thing that they're offering. Yeah, huh. so we've got uh, current seltzer is going to be there. Nola has their seltzer that's going to be there. Uh, we've got all sorts of different ciders that are going to be there. Um, just there's a watermelon uh, rhubarb that was really, really good wow. that you've got to try out from Avid out of Bend, Oregon. Mm. And there's just so there's something for everybody. It's not just a it's a, just a, not a, a beer guy <laughs> thing. And it's not just a ladies set cider thing or a seltzer yeah. thing. It's for everyone. Everyone you likes know, it. Everyone, yeah, absolutely. Well, why don't you remind us where it's happening, the hours, and where people can get tickets as well? Absolutely, it's at the Spokane Arena, happening tomorrow from 12 to 7. Tickets are on sale right now at ticketswest.com or at our website at spokanebrewfest.com. Um, at the door, they are $30. Today, they're $25. So get them today. Mm -hmm. Save some money. And we hope to see you there. All right. Matt Gibson from the arena. Yeah. Thank you so much. We Thank appreciate you. it. We will be back in just a little bit.